In this edition of Image Breakdown, we're going to have a look at this passion fruit trifle. Now, this is one of the images I am most proud of because it is challenging to get cream to look like this. Hi, I'm Rachel Koenig, professional food photographer, helping you take incredible photos that are good enough to eat. If you know me and you're familiar with my work, you know that I really love to shoot minimalist food portraiture, and this is exactly what this shot is. So on a macro level, looking at the composition across the whole frame, we don't have as much as at the micro level. So we're going to get to that in a moment. So looking at the big picture here, in order to make minimalist food photography really powerful, we have to be really strong with all our visual elements. Now, the first composition theory that we'll look at is color theory. And I went ahead and used complementary colors. So we have yellow and blue, which is on the opposite sides of the color wheel. If you want to learn more about color theory, you can check out my three part series, which I'll link in the description. Now I've used color contrast here. So we have a deep blue in the background and I've purposefully done that to complement and contrast the food, which is a bright yellow. So that allows the food to really jump out of the image at you, just like the flavors in the dish. One of my favorite compositional techniques is layering and it was very key for this photo. So we just have the hero dish in a dessert glass. So I thought, how can we make this more interesting? So I went ahead and chose a linen. So you notice it just adds a little something subtle to the frame with all those beautiful folds under the glass. We also have a spoon at the top of the frame pouring the passion fruit syrup to create movement, which creates something visually interesting in the frame. And it helps it feel like you're there with me while I'm plating the dessert. Jumping into that micro level, so looking at the composition within our hero food subject. It had to be visually appealing. It had to have layers that were interesting of different textures. So we have smooth cream. You can see how the shadows bounce around with the trifle and the cake layers. The seeds of the passion fruit create something interesting as well. So all of these varied textures are really visually appealing to both the eye and the taste buds. Now the cream is a hero element. It is not easy to get the height of this cream, but the height is really important. So it took me two scoops to get the height. And then what I had to do is I had to rotate the glass to really get the best angle for the cream. So I just call it like the hero angle of the food. How can you just turn the subject a little bit to see what is most flattering to the camera? It's super important. Lastly, the pour of passion fruit just ties it all together. It really just adds another layer that's visually appealing. Now, when it came time to edit, I really had to lean on my masks and color correct each level of yellow. So the pour of passion fruit is really the cherry on top to this image. And I had to make sure it was strong. So I went ahead and composited a bunch of images together in Photoshop to make sure that I had that perfect look. Lastly, Photoshop helped me to clean up any blemishes so we don't have any distractions and we can just look at how beautiful this dish is. I do feel like I might have broken a compositional rule in this photo and that is I have two spoons. I feel like one might have made more sense. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below if you would have used two or one. And thanks for watching. If you're interested to learn more about composition, check out my Composition Essentials Masterclass at compositionessentials.com. And shout out to one of my Aussie besties who, when she came to see me in Canada, flew over tins of passion fruit just so I can create this shot.